The first game in the God of War series was released in 2005 on PS2, and is the game that amazed both critics and gamers at the time, winning the title Game of the Year. The game features Kratos, a Spartan warrior who tries to find the Pandora's box during the game in order to confront the God of War, namely his former mentor, who tricked him into killing his wife and daughter. The game is largely based on bloody fighting and solving puzzles. Kratos uses both weapons and magical powers to fight enemies. God of War has sold over 4.6 million copies worldwide, making it the second title in the series. You God of War. However, Kratos soon found himself alone on Olympus, shunned by his fellow gods. On the gameplay side, God of War 2 is quite similar to the previous game, still using fighting elements, platforms, puzzles, and mini-games for bloody killings. Kratos also receives various weapons and magical powers throughout the story from various characters or taken from enemies. Icarus's wings, for example, allow Kratos to glide short distances, the Golden Wool rejects projectiles, and Blades of Athena, in the first game, allows Kratos to swing from highlighted objects. Once again, God of War 2 was one of the best video games of all time, winning the 2007 PlayStation Game of the Year at the Golden Joystick Awards. Next, we have God of War 3, released in 2010, which is based on the adventure of Kratos in a journey through Mount Olympus and the elimination of Zeus, but also the fight with his inner self. I hope for nothing. Again, the gameplay is similar to previous versions based on combo battles with Kratos' main weapon, Blades of Exile, but also with secondary weapons acquired throughout the game. Different from previous versions is the renewed magic system, more enemies, new camera angles, and downloadable content. God of War 3 was acclaimed for its graphics, gameplay, and breadth, winning the Best Expected Game of 2010 and Best PS3 Game Awards. these items to steal your mind, Kratos. Do not let illusion deceive you. There do I see my mother. Oh, there do I see my father. Oh, there do they call to me. Oh, there do they call to me. A sequel to the series was simply titled God of War which changes the setting from Greek mythology to Norse mythology, the story being set in ancient Scandinavia in the land of Midgard. For the first time in the series, we have two protagonists, Kratos, who is now older but more experienced, and his young son, Atreus. The story of the game is very deep. After the death of the wife of Kratos, the mother of Atreus, they travel to fulfill her request that her ashes be scattered on the highest peak of the Nine Realms. As for the gameplay, it has been completely rebuilt. Kratos now uses, for the most part, a magic fighting axe. The axe can be thrown at enemies and magically summoned back into his hand. Another new weapon is the Guardian Shield, which can be used offensively or defensively, and when not in use, it folds into Kratos' left forearm. The game offers a vast travel function, and swimming is no longer possible now, crossing the water by boat. God of War was highly regarded for his story, graphics, art direction, music, fighting system, and relationship between Kratos and Atreus. 
The game has sold over 19.5 million by 2021, making it the best-selling game for the PlayStation 4. Twenty twenty two comes with a new title from the God of War series, namely God of War Ragnarok, which is a continuation of the previous game. The game is also based on Norse mythology and set in ancient Scandinavia, where Kratos and his son Atreus will also be the protagonists. The game will also present the end of the Nordic era of the series, where a series of events takes place that lead to the end of days and the death of some Nordic gods. The gameplay of the game is based on crossing the nine realms using a sleigh pulled by wolves. This time, all nine realms can be explored, compared to the previous game that allowed access to only six realms.